Welcome. Could you please tell me uh, your name and why you, you are here today? Uh, my name is uh, Michel Boss and I'm from Orange Serious Games. Uh, Orange is one of the exhibitors over here and I am also a speaker. Not for today, but for tomorrow. Tomorrow, so, Tuesday. So, um, first start with, with the company. Uh, why, why is it important for Orange to be here? Well, actually, Orange is one of the longest existing serious game companies, at least in the Netherlands, but also in the world, I think. Uh, we exist for over 15 years now. Uh, been been making exclusively serious games. And when we started out, we started out making games for everything, for every possible problem you could think of, we made games. Uh, but over time, when we saw uh, the competition increasing, uh, we saw that the, the knowledge of the content you need to build a game is getting more difficult uh, because you go deeper and deeper into the subject matter expertise. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we decided to focus on two parts, and that is health, health in the broader sense, and business corporate training. So this is the Games for Health uh, conference, uh, Europe. So we need to be here <laughs> because this is what we do. Yeah. We make games for health. Yeah, and 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 people who come here are are interested in this, or they maybe want to buy it or want to yeah, use well, it, or. Yeah. Uh, the, there is a nice mix of game-oriented people and people from the uh, more medical uh, and care uh, background. Uh, background. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You say you're also a speaker here. So, so what's your story? What, what, what are you going to talk about? And uh, tomorrow, uh, we have a, a, a duo presentation. I will be presenting with uh, uh, my clients, it's Johnson & Johnson. And we made a very extensive game for children with ADHD. I have to pronounce it properly. <laughs> ADHD. <laughs> uh, and this game is finished a few months ago. Uh, it's released uh, uh, a few months ago. And this is one of the intervention from Johnson & Johnson to claim for themselves a, a, an, another place in the ecosystem as to say so they're trying to get rid of this modification idea and trying to find new innovative ways to 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 be of help for the patients mm. so um, this game you say it was finished a, a few months ago uh, how long does it take uh, this took forever yeah <laughs> so is this a, a question no, of years is, or? No, yeah this is years yeah this is actually us I, I believe I, we started somewhere in 2011 the first the first steps yeah. but you have to keep in mind this this is a game with, with hours and hours of gameplay uh, you need this long time of gameplay in order to achieve something because we're gonna what we tr what we aim for is changing the cognitive functions so we're training cognitive functions in the hope that these children will uh, uh, perform better on time management planning and pro-social behavior so you need some time to train that uh, you also have to talk with subject matter experts so you need this constant uh, uh, talking and brainstorming with real experts uh, and game designers mm -hmm. so this all takes a long time yeah. and then of course we have testing as well target group testing it's the normal testing is the game understandable for kids but also medical testing so the game is there, are, there was a preliminary uh, uh, randomized trial being done while we were building and we used the first results from that and we built this into the game to enhance the effectiveness but also, the, later on, there was this more extensive uh, randomized clinical trial being done by University of Leuven. Uh, yeah, and that's, uh, and we're still waiting for the uh, for the data to be analyzed. Yeah. So the data is collected. It's quite a large group of, I believe, 80 children that uh, being, has done that. And if, if, if the results come back, does it mean that the game is validated? Uh, Actually, to be honest, I don't care if it's validated. I want to know what it does. <laughs> uh, so validation is not important? 
a validation is important in order to know what you are doing and in order to build on the things you already done. Lots of things are not being validated at the moment, so it's just wild guessing, as I say. And what we need is some, some something to stand on, so we can level up every time, so we can get better and in understanding of things. For, for example, in the preliminary test, we found out that pro-social behavior is hard to train in a game. Mm -hmm. So we went back and we talked to the subject matter experts, and what they say is, well, yeah, this is true in true life as well. <laughs> if we train, as psychologists, if we train this, it takes a long time. So you need to know these things in order to make the proper game mechanics to do this. So, yeah. so you need information back from scientists that will try to validate your game. Yeah. We're not aiming. I mean, not aiming for a medical uh, validation in the sense that insurance companies will uh, pay for it. So, so that's not our aim. No, no. You you just want a game that really works. Yeah, yeah. And and I want to build on it. So I don't believe in the idea of building one game and then just run away and just forget about it. Now, I think game designers, and clients, and subject matter experts should go in cycles. So you build a game learn from it, try to figure out what you can do better, make it better, and do this step by step by step. So, in the end, you get a terrific game. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, well, you say it, it, it took a long time. Um, where did the money come from? Our clients. Yeah. We were very lucky with uh, a client like Johnson & Johnson. Um, it's a pharmaceutical company at least it is this part of Johnson & Johnson, that's yeah. our client. It's a pharmaceutical company and there are a lot of things being said about pharmaceuticals. But I've seen them operate and I have to say, I've never seen a company that integer, that, that <laughs> really working on the idea that they are there for the patient and trying to find better ways to treat them, to help them. So we were really lucky to have a company that is willing to think out of the box, taking some risks, to persevere, to go on. Mm -hmm. Just not, say, not saying, oh, well, just, this is just a prototype for uh, uh, marketing reasons. No, they really want to uh, fulfill this. We want to see if this works on a long term um, into their uh, package of, of, of interventions they have. Yeah. So, so they started this company, it's called Healthy Solution, that is doing more than only this game that try to expand this uh, idea further yeah so is it is it really difficult to find a partner like like that or are there more and more companies who are s well, well, actually, seeing no. the opportunities yeah, well, and is it and difficult of course it's, it is difficult yeah. Yeah. It's, that's called sales <laughs> 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 now the, the, the most the most difficult thing I think is um, I'm, as a company we have several ideas of things we would like to do mm -hmm. Like many others, we would like to tackle obesity, for example. Um, we would like to, to do something about uh, uh, all kinds of uh, wrong behavior, because we believe that games are especially good in changing people's behavior if you, if you build games in the proper way, in the, in the right way. But all these things are prevention things, mm -hmm. and prevention is hard to sell. So if you say, I've got something that will replace a medicine, that's easy. But if you want, and, and, and the whole idea of, 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 uh, of health will be the change from medicine to uh, prevention. Uh, but who's paying for it? So that's the most difficult thing. For the rest, if you're if you, making, uh, I can't say that, uh, we're making games for, for other pharmaceuticals as well. Uh, and that's quite easy because they use it as a most of the time they use it as a marketing tool or as an awareness tool or a training tool. So that's simple. But the really important things like changing people's behavior, having kids move a little bit more, for example, mm -hmm. that's hard to get financed. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see any other uh, big trends besides, uh, well, uh, a lot of investors, especially in America, seem to be interested in this field nowadays, yeah. and uh, well, validation is always yeah. a validation thing that's... Validation is a big issue. It's a, yeah. it's a big yeah. issue, but do you see any other big trends besides that? Yeah, well, what things I... Things going on. Yeah, yeah, what I... 
tend to believe, what I believe is that it's all about behavioral change. So one of the things you will see is uh, uh, that, especially the companies building these games, will, get, will try to get a better insight in the psychology of people. So you will see an increasing uh, uh, cooperation between uh, universities with psychology uh, uh, departments and uh, special, uh, how you call these, uh, special agents like Stichting Julius or uh, Dr. Leo Connerhuis. These are companies uh, specialized in treating people on a psychological level. So mm -hmm. You will see more and more uh, connections being made between them, I believe. Okay, okay. Um, what do you think the world will look like in 10 years' time if, if you look I at a, a serious games, if applied you, if games? If you ask me, ask me this 10 years ago, I wouldn't predict what we're doing now. No? The world has changed tremendously. It's, uh, so everything has changed. It's, uh, time doesn't matter anymore. So we're time independent, we're place independent. We can look, we can find all information, every information you need just in an instant. This is a big difference. We're connected all the time together. So if I want, I can call my wife now. You know, this, these are concepts that really change the world. I wouldn't dare to predict, <laughs> not even for two years. <laughs> okay. So when will you be happy uh, after leaving here? Uh, 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 after two days. Yeah, what, what, uh, what my aim is, is uh, I would like to have make some, made some new contacts. Um, I have some people interested in the ideas of Ranches, because we do have these ideas on, uh, on changing people's behavior, behavior yeah. and do it this in, a, in a preventive way. And I would like to see if this can lead to some kind of a coalition so that, that I would like that. So meeting people, uh, seeding some ideas, and trying to get some. Uh, in the long run, we need some work, of course. So that's uh, some new clients would be okay as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's always, always nice to have some clients. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you.